Hi everyone, hope you're staying well and safe from coronavirus. Before we get into the one video clip I found most valuable today uh, from President Trump and Vice President Pence, I wanted to share with you a product that uh, my Aunt Beth, who's a homeopathic and um, Eastern medicine uh, practitioner, really highly recommends. We never know how to pronounce it at our family, but we call it Ozempix, um, but it's actually O-S-C, or that's what uh, Aunt Beth calls it. She highly recommends to stock up. We we have it here, and it's fantastic to you know help dur shorten the duration of uh, various uh, colds and things uh, from a uh, natural perspective. And the little capsules are easy for kids, and I'm in fact taking some today because I'm feeling a little under the weather. Just wanted to pass that along to you. Hope it it helps. Now let's get into uh, this. Really impactful clip that I thought for pound for pound was the best thing I saw today. Stay safe. Stay in touch. What we will be doing is uh, having a news conference tomorrow to talk about various things that we're doing economically. They'll be very major, uh, including, obviously, uh, the payroll tax cut. And so we'll be meeting again tomorrow afternoon. We'll be coming back from the Senate. Uh, we have a lot of very important meetings set up. And uh, we'll have a press conference sometime after that, and we'll explain what we're doing on an economic standpoint and from an economic standpoint. Uh, but they will be very, uh, very dramatic. And uh, we have a great economy. We have a very strong economy. But this came, this blindsided the world. And I think we've handled it very, very well. I think they've done a great job. The people behind me have done a great job. So I will be here tomorrow afternoon to let you know about some of the economic steps we're taking, which will be major. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Has he been tested? I have not been tested for the coronavirus. Has the President, um, I, has the president been tested? Uh, uh, he's been in, he's been in, with people who were in proximity to somebody who had the virus. Let me uh, be sure and get you an answer to that. I honestly don't know the answer to the question, uh, but, um, but we'll refer that question and we will get you an answer from the White House uh, physician uh, very quickly. Uh, let, me, uh, let me ask uh, Dr. Fauci and Dr. Burks to come to the podium. Uh, you all and, and the American public will have at their fingertips very quickly um, guidance that this is for every American. Uh, we're working with communities like the Seattle area, uh, like portions of California, New York, and Florida that have um, what we call community spread, a concentration of coronavirus cases. Uh, but we directed our team to come up with helpful recommendations for every American, every American family, every American business and school. And uh, uh, if uh, Dr. Burks and Dr. Fauci step forward, they can outline that for you. Great, thank you. Good evening. Um, we've been, it was good about getting out last week, meeting with communities. We know that the real solutions to this is every American has a role in stopping the spread of the virus. And so we wanted to really put out guidance for every American and every community that was practical and common sense, but detailed in a way that everyone would know precisely what to do. The guidance will be around how to keep workplaces safe, how to keep schools safe, how to keep the home safe, and how to keep commercial businesses safe, where people would eat or be present. The importance about this is we believe that communities are at the center of this. I came from a field where it was the communities that really solved our issues around HIV prevention. And so we're very much speaking to the communities and the American people about what can be done. All of this information came from a paper that Dr. Fauci provided from the Australians, um, first author, author Dalton. Um, so you can actually look up the scientific evidence that informed each of these guidelines. But we will be providing that this evening in great detail so that every mother, father, child, son, daughter, caregiver will know precisely what to do and what to ask for. Dr. Fauci? Yeah. <clears throat> Just to reiterate what the, Dr. Burke said, it was as, as simple as that. We have been speaking about the kinds of things 
that would keep our citizens safe in a variety of environments. We've been speaking about on telephone calls. We've been speaking about at conferences. The CDC has been talking about this for a long time, as has Dr. Burks and I. So we thought we would put it together in, in a neat form way that would be available to the general public. What Dr. Burks had mentioned is that just the other day I got one of many, many emails where some of my colleagues that I know from Australia actually decided they were going to write a paper on it and make a number of boxes, which was exactly saying what we had been talking about. So we came up with the idea it would be very good for clarity. So why don't we just put it together, edit it a little, and put it in a way that people can look. What about the home? What about the school? What about the workplace? These are really simple, low-tech things. There's nothing in there that's complicated, but it's just stated in a way that's clear that people can understand. Um, I might ask the Surgeon General if there's anything about the guidance you want to reflect on. Or well, one thing I want folks to know is that we have been looking at the data from around the world, and we now know more than we ever have about who is at risk. Who is at risk, and I hope you will help us communicate this to the American people, are people over the age of 60. They're much more likely to uh, develop complications from the coronavirus and to be hospitalized from the coronavirus. The average age of death is age 80. Now, what we also want communities to know is that if you are a child or young adult, you are much more, you're more likely to uh, die from the flu if you get it than you are to die from coronavirus. So there is something about being young that is protective. We want people to be reassured by that. We want people to know that we are really focusing in on those, gr uh, those uh, groups that are at highest risk for complications and helping them understand how to be safe. And this new advice that's going to be coming out tomorrow is designed to keep our community safe to help keep the most vulnerable safe. And it's important to understand that even though young people aren't at risk for dying from coronavirus, they can potentially spread that to older people in the communities and people with chronic diseases. So it's important we all take precautions, washing our hands, covering our cough, uh, keeping our distance from people who are sick, and taking the steps that will be coming out in this new guidance to help make sure we're doing everything we know possible to keep our most vulnerable protected. <laughs> we love you, Mama.